Well, hi guys. Thank you for tuning in to We'll Fix It team. So now that uh, it's after hours at the tractor show and uh, we're gonna hang out a little bit and, and shoot some stuff now that there's a little, everybody's sort of cleared out. And um, I've got a video where I kind of gave like a tour. I was on my tractor and just went around and showed everything. Uh, not quite everything. There's still more stuff to, that you could see, but there's one of the insides of a building right quick. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're just gonna walk around and sort of look at some of the stuff that uh, is at these people's house. And I'm uh, good friends with these people, so it's kind of an honor to actually be you know involved in some of this stuff here. So let me let me flip this here. Let's see here. So what we've got is a this is an old international harvester, really really old. It's got a, a, you know, I'm not really sure what year this thing is, but, you know, it's old enough to where, you know, there's an old Magneto. You've got a really cool looking mixer that they had. This, uh, like, the, the car, that would be the carburetor right here. And uh, you can see that, you know, back in the day, things were really different. And then uh, here's a pretty cool little, uh, like, Cub Cadet. It's a 72 model. And uh, you see a lot of these fixed up. Uh, this one here's got looks like one of the original Kohlers on it, which is really cool. A lot of people are. I see diesel swaps and V twin swaps, and I like those too. And then here's a uh, another little small Cub Cadet, a really cool old. I uh, really couldn't tell you what year it is right off, but it's actually hydrostatic. You can see the, the tag, Farmer All, and there's some dude. But you don't want to crank the tractor like that while it's in gear. But these were. Uh, like really really powerful tractors when they were when they came out they were just you could put dual wheels on it that's why you see the extra axle sticking out there and these these could be you could open the front up make it wider the huge 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 that right there is a big huge that's a, that's a generator actually that's what you want to and it looks let's see what kind of looks like it could do 12,500 watts and uh, 208 volts. So, you know, it'll, it's 120, 208 volt circuit, single phase. Now, that right there, if you had that right there, you were the tits. There's a DC generator. That's part of the circuit, though, as you can see how they use that. But, uh, man, if you had this, you were something else because you could power your house off of this tractor, no problem. Or you could run some electric equipment on a mill. And uh, here's another big, huge powerhouse. This huge farmer all, it's the 806. Big monster machine right here. When you were running this right here, you were you, you knew you were pulling something. And as you can see, what is neat, it's uh, four wheel drive. So that was something kind of cutting edge. It's all wheel drive. And it runs off of, by the way, this thing, this model here is a, can run off L LP, it's, it runs off propane. That's the fuel tank up there on the top. That's your fuel tank. Okay, FYI, in case you, you know, looking at it kind of funny. Here's another LP model right here. And another rather strong tractor. I like the big tires, man. They just can't get over the big tires on these things. I'm, let me flip the camera so you can get an idea just how big this tractor is. I'm almost six foot tall, you know, and then you stand beside this tire right here and it's like, wow. <laughs> and, uh, that's a 650 that's behind me here. That's a huge model. And this is a diesel right here, Farm Raw. And that's a B450, another rather large machine. By the way, this building is all Farm Raw. So that's what this, where we're at right here. And you can see some of the signs on the wall. And that, uh, like I say, you could run dual wheels on this one. And uh, just strong, these things were so, these things ran smooth really smooth when they're when they're running right you can about balance a nickel on these old big motors and uh it's gas model right here here's a nice workhorse a good worker right here this thing right here and it, uh, they were running this thing earlier today sure were and they were pulling with it another big huge generator on it that is so cool to see that this one actually has the shroud that the big nice model didn't have and you can see you got wet line hookups right here this thing would do it all and here's a green chopper or you put the corn husker there it's got that quick hitch which is it actually works really well for what you were doing with this tractor and uh there's a man there's just so many cool things in this building right there there's a shredder and then you've got a couple of hit and missers right here I'll get my my camera to uh 
to look. This is an international. Both of these are internationals hitting this motors. And a bunch of models up here. Look at all these models. You see all that, guys? There's and this is all this was all man one man's collection right here that we're we're looking at. This is uh I watched this place get put together and this uh this guy does train wrecks and train repair, so it's this thing. And here's a wacky yeah oh yeah i'm getting ready to get around that or yeah i'll work my way but here's some really cool stuff there's some dude sitting up in there and uh these are some neat harley davidson models right here and we'll get back to the farmer all tractors but a lot of cool big lighters this is just a bunch of just big huge collections of pedal cars right here if you like pedal cars there's probably dang near one of each around this hole this is just and there's not all of them there's more around here actually we'll shoot some more of this stuff but here's a a neat cool panel truck and uh it uh <laughs> lancaster that would have been new york but that but uh and there's a, a neat little ring of jing here some kind of homemade deal i think but and here like i say there's a bunch of really neat look at this i don't know if you remember those or not it's an old Indian inline four cylinder. You don't see those very much. Look at that, guys. And you've got some pretty cool Hondas, all different makes. There's a BMW. That's those, those BMWs were originally uh, generator engines, actually, is how these things got started. Let's see here. This is a pretty cool little thing. A Betty Boop. I can say there's. Uh, yeah. So this is just one of the buildings, guys. That that houses many of these things. Tomorrow, I want I want to I'm going to hopefully be able to. Here's a PTO model of that same generator right there. You see that? That is just neat. And some more pedal vehicles up there on that wall. And um, the guy who started it all. Oh, this was Ken Ader's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I was, my wife was telling me to check this wall out, which I was, we're gonna work away too. But the man in the middle of the picture right here is the man who started all this. His name was Ken Ader, and uh, it kind of makes me tear up when I think about it. That's there's him and Patty right here. This is the man who started this right here, and the man has been had a. It was an accident on one of the jobs on one of the train wrecks where he was he had hit. Um, he didn't make it. He had an accident on the job, and it claimed his life. And so this happened a couple of years ago, and his wife and the kids and the, and the you know the, we all try to hold this thing together for the for this big event. So this super cool guy, this dude was Ken Ader, and a hardworking guy, man. He built this whole empire, and and his wife is still adding to it. So anyhow, let's uh we'll one up this. We'll put this one out as a video. I try to do these videos, you know, where they're not so long, and so we'll call this one the in the one the the, the farmer all building. One of many, so the lighting's better. I don't look so. I don't have my bad cat eyes. I've been working all day out here, helping these people and doing stuff. So, uh, anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Wheel Fix It team. This is just a wonderful weekend to be doing this. As the weather's nice, and I really appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Lots of love, guys. Lots of love. Have a good one. Bye.